Yearly mammograms are supposed to help doctors find cancer in its early stages, but that's not always the case for women with dense breast tissue. In 2004, our next guest was diagnosed with stage 3C breast cancer two months after her yearly mammogram showed no findings of cancer. Nancy Capella joins us now to expose what she calls the best kept secret of dense breast tissue. Welcome, Nancy. Oh, thank you for having me today, Jocelyn. A lot of people don't really, really, really know what dense breast tissue is all about. What exactly is that? Well, I didn't know either. And unfortunately, in 2004, when I was diagnosed and my breast surgeon said to me, when I asked her why the cancer was not found on a mammogram, she said, well, Nancy, you have dense breast tissue. And so I ended up going on a search. And dense breast tissue is the type of connective tissue that many women have in which on a mammogram, cancer appears white, so does breast density. Mm -hmm. Therefore, there's no contrast to find the cancer. So in my case, I had cancer in my breast, but because of the dense tissue, it was never found until it was a late stage. All right, you went for a mammogram. Tell us your story. Yes, well, I was a very faithful patient, Jocelyn. I exercised daily. I had no first degree relatives with breast cancer. I ate healthy. And I had my yearly mammogram because I knew that early detection saves lives. And if I was going to get cancer, I wanted certainly to be found early. So I had mammograms for a decade of mammograms since I was 40. And so about two months before um, I was diagnosed with breast cancer, I had my normal mammogram. And it was fine. I caught the happy gram, came back to me and said, Dear Ms. Capello, we we're very pleased. That everything you never saw your mammogram, though? No, never did. Never did. Nor did I ever see my real mammogram report. See, there's another report that the radiologist generates that gives a much detailed information about a woman's breast, and that talks about breast density. I never knew that. No one ever told me. So they send you that report. Yes. Then what happened? So they sent me the happy gram report. I felt I, that was great. Now it's next. I have to go to my annual gynecological exam because I was a faithful patient. And when I was there, Jocelyn, she had felt my right breast, and she said, Nancy, I know you just had a mammogram, but I feel this thickening in your breast. And I want you to go for another mammogram and an ultrasound. The mammogram, still because of the breast density, saw nothing. The ultrasound found a two and a half centimeter, which is an inch mass, which was later determined stage 3C breast cancer. I had 13 lymph nodes, Jocelyn, cancer. Out of 18 that were taken from me, a normal mammogram weeks before, the cancer was in me for about four or five years, growing aggressive not right. Had you felt anything? No, not at all. Not at all. I, I was in great shape because I was a very you know, healthy person. Um, but no, I did not feel anything. And again, thinking that the mammogram would find any cancer, mm -hmm. I was shocked and outraged that I was never told that I had dense tissue, that mammograms were limited. And the other thing I was never told is that women with extremely dense tissue as me, they have a greater risk factor of getting cancer seldom ever shared with patients. But now you are sharing your story and you started this yeah. organization to reach out to other women to educate and empower them. Absolutely, because knowledge is power. I um, started the organization um, called Are You Dense? And the organization is really dedicated to raise awareness of dense breast tissue uh, for women with, with, um, with dense tissue, to raise awareness of breast dense Breast dense tissue. Oh, golly, Nancy. It's I'm okay. Sorry. <laughs> dense, dense breast, breast tissue, tissue for the early yes. detection of breast cancer. Okay. Um, and so um, that the organization is actually having a, a, a big event um, this Saturday um, to uh, at Quasipod to do such, to raise funds for that. And is it a, a dinner, a gala? It's actually a music festival that we're having, um, Jocelyn, and it um, will be held tomorrow on a beautiful day. Um, we have a great lineup of musical guests. We actually have um, Kristen Casada will be there. Oh, very um, good. Yep, to helping us raise funds um, for the event. And we have the information right there on the screen. Also, Nancy, you worked very closely to get two important laws passed here in Connecticut. I did. Tell I us did. more about that. Yes, um, Jocelyn, when I, was, when I found out that I had dense tissue and that no one told me, I really wanted to make sure that other women knew about their breast density. Uh, Two-thirds of premenopausal women and a quarter have dense breast tissue, and no one ever tells them. So it, we passed two bills in the state of Connecticut. Uh, hallmark legislation, one for ultrasounds to be covered as a screening tool because ultrasounds can pick up cancers that mammograms miss. And the second bill is to inform women of their breast density when they have their mammogram report. Hallmark legislation that is now being um, actually mirrored in about five other states. Another screening tool is an MRI. Now, this how is. effective is that? MRIs are very effective. Um, the challenge with MRIs is there's a lot, a lot of false positives, which mean that women will end up going for biopsies and they may not be cancer. But I always say I'd rather have a biopsy that says my, it's not cancer than have a cancer that has failed to be detected. Oftentimes, I know doctors use both the ultrasound and the yes, MRI to yes, determine whether a woman has yes, breast cancer. Yes, we 
worked this year actually with the Connecticut legislature to have MRIs also covered, mm -hmm. but it never made it to the House for a vote. We need that law. We certainly <laughs> do totally. need that law. We now, do. What about uh, women who who don't understand what breast can uh, breast dense breast tissue is all about? Do they need to ask their doctor? when they're getting the mammogram or when do they need yes. to, to well, in, bring in, that up? In Connecticut we're fortunate that we have this law which now requires doctors to inform women of their breast density but the truth of the matter is that 95 percent of women that are surveyed do not know their breast density and only one in ten women find out about f find out about breast density from their physician hence why we started are you dense they need to be an informed patient they should go to our website and get a lot of information because information is power um, we want women to really know about this and that's why I call it exposing the best kept secret that's right if more women know about it in case their doctor does not raise the issue we need to bring it Absolutely. up to the doctor because there are doctors you know, general internists that need to know a lot of things and they may not know about dense breast tissue exactly all right uh, thank you very much Nancy for being here with us great and coming up next